and we are following a developing story in Dallas where a dart train hit an off duty police officer. This is video from earlier today and WFAA's Rebecca Lopez is at the scene right now. Rebecca, how's the injured off duty officer doing? He's doing OK. We know that he is a 14 year veteran of the Dallas Police Department. He works uh, at the crimes against not crimes against children, rather the police athletic league and also at the South Central Patrol Division. And he was literally uh, walking across jaywalking across this platform right here. That's what witnesses say when he was hit by that train. Witnesses say they watched in shock as an off-duty Dallas police officer walked into the path of a dart train. I saw him take a step, the train blow his whistle. He had headsets on. He never either didn't see the train or didn't look up fast enough to step back. Good Samaritans helped the officer until paramedics arrived. Uh, we helped him out. He couldn't walk very well, as you can imagine. They say he had deep gashes on his forehead and legs. A young lady tried to get a bandage on his head, he had a very large gash on his forehead, uh, a lot of road rash on his left side where he was dragged. Whenever they got him over here, he was in shock. He didn't want to sit down like they were trying to get him to sit down. Dart says the officer was jaywalking and have recently put out advisories warning people to pay attention when they are near the train. Trains can't turn left or right and they can't stop quickly. So that's the key. You got to remember that you got to be responsible for your own safety. They say in some ways the officer was lucky he didn't sustain worse injuries. Now, the officer is at Baylor Hospital in serious condition. Now, he was attending the Crimes Against Children conference here at the Sheraton. That's why he was in this area when all of this happened. Back to you guys.